No matter what this country asks of you, you always step up to answer the call, always. So it is fitting that all of you are here today because it is that ethic of service that defined the life of this country's namesake, Captain Dorothy Stratton. So now is the time to serve. To the crew of Stratton, I recognize the effort, skill, and commitment that you have put into this cutter. Because of you, a fully outfitted and finely tuned cutter stands behind it. And because of your leadership and devotion to duty, a well-trained crew stands before me, ready to take to the sea. Mrs. Obama, thank you for your kind words. As you have charged us, we will take guidance from the example provided by our spies. They are our greatest generation and our moral compass. We shall follow in their way. And from our nation, we will be guided as to our purpose to protect, to promote, and to help prosper. I couldn't have made a better choice. It was wonderful. I never actually met her, but I did serve in Washington, D.C. and uh, just down the hall from Admiral Wishy when I was there. It was, a, it was an experience. I'm glad I joined the women and another thing. And of course, at that time, it was honor and duty. It's still honor and duty. I think it's wonderful. Yeah? I think it's wonderful. My first assignment after we got to boot camp and got our uniforms and all that, I was assigned to uh, Commander Stratton's office as an aide. We think it's great. Couldn't have been uh, named after anybody better. She was the best. Oh, I think it's great. I, I wish uh, when I was coming, when I was younger, that I would have had the same opportunities what they have now. Because uh, when I joined, uh, there weren't as many uh, different places that we could, uh, you know, do.